Because the Jewish people do have their own state, IBA's Ari O'Sullivan asked Rabbi Levi Wyman Kelman of Jerusalem's Kol Neshama Reform Synagogue just how relevant is the commemoration of Tisha B'Av. Well, the question of the relevancy of Tisha B'Av is something that uh, preoccupied even the early founders of the state. There's an interesting debate um, where the early Zionists were saying we don't have to do Tisha B'Av anymore. We can come back to Israel. Um, especially after 1967 when Jerusalem was reunited um, it felt a little strange to be sitting around crying over the destruction of Jerusalem when Jerusalem was reunited uh, capital of the modern state of Israel so this is a hot question um, that's not going to go anywhere it's still discussed every year is Tisha B'Av something we should be um, commemorating even today um, and there's many levels that one can relate to Tisha B'Av there's certainly the historical level that uh, it's appropriate for people to commemorate the disasters of our past um, something good about getting it all focused on one day so that it doesn't take over our lives <clears throat> there's a, a famous quote from Beryl Katz Nelson about the importance of memory and that uh, people who can't um, embrace memories of even their difficult um, experiences are impoverished and so Beryl Katz Nelson who was a secular socialist not a not a pious guy um, Beryl Katz Nelson felt very strongly that Tisha B'Av was worthy of being uh, um, commemorated uh, even in a modern secular Jewish state so so the historical cultural uh, level is certainly a compelling one that it's good to have a day where we focus on our history and on our tragic history of course the danger is that one can get obsessed with the tragedies and it could just turn into a Jewish identity that's limited to um, everyone's out to get us and totally missing all the positive sides of being Jewish. Well, as a reform rabbi, what's the lessons that you take from Tisha B'Av? Well, I would say as a reform Zionist, for me, the most important lesson of Tisha B'Av is that um, the Jewish state is not a given. That there were two um, very dramatic times in our history when we had a Jewish state and we lost it um, according to Jewish tradition because of our behavior and that uh, our having a Jewish state Jewish sovereignty is dependent on our moral behavior and on that level Tisha B'Av I think is incredibly relevant today um, that it demands that we do a cheshbon nefesh that we look inward as a as a people it's supposed to Yom Kippur where it's more individual to Shabbat is a day for national reckoning and when we we ask ourselves are we living in a society that is a moral society a just society and we have to know that if we're not there is a chance that we will lose our right to Jewish sovereignty that's the message of Tisha B'Av it seems to be that Tisha B'Av is day of collective mourning or introspection is a hard sell for modern Israelis I think Tisha B'Av is a very hard sell for mo modern Israelis I think um, first of all most modern Israelis don't want to focus on the negative parts of our history and they see in uh, being citizens of the modern Jewish state as uh, an opportunity to live a good life and uh, to sit on the floor and cry about a temple that only existed 2,000 years ago isn't high on their list of priorities <clears throat> but again I think the historical um, value and the cultural value of uh, commemorating Tisha B'Av is, is for me obvious 